It is the 2nd of the 12th, 2011. And this is today's climate change update. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start on SOT.net tonight. U.S. winds buffet Utah, toppling trucks, trees, and power lines. Um, in all, the Utah Department of Transportation reported 11 semis overturned by wind on the state's highways Thursday morning. It's just insane, and of course there's stories abound. Um, this is that, that big storm rolling through the southwest United States. Japan nuclear meltdown may be worse than thought. Tokyo molten nuclear fuel at Japan's Fukushima plant might have eaten two-thirds of the way through a concrete cement base, its operator said, citing the new simulation of the extended of the extent of the March disaster. Now you got to remember these people are using computer simulated models. Uh, I reported on last night. Scotland severe gale force winds caused disruption and damage throughout the Isles. And uh, again, there's they've been having some really stormy weather of late. Um, United States winds wreak havoc in Southern California, 200 kilometer plus, or 200,000 plus without power. And of course, I uh, was hearing reports of wind gusts over 100 miles an hour from uh, the Weather Channel earlier today. And of course, there's all kinds of uh, stories and stuff on that. Rare seismic quake rattles buildings and nerves in Finland. A milder tremor measuring 2.8 on the Richter scale is experienced on Thursday. Uh, southeast Finland, seismologist says the tremor is the most powerful one measured this year in Finland. And uh, U.S. 97 mile per hour Santa Ana winds knock out power down trees in Los Angeles. And that's about all new they have tonight. Over to the Extinction Pro Protocol. Um, they're running through the economy and uh, the war drum stuff. George Ciro's The Global Financial System is in a self-reinforcing process of disintegration. And the dominoes are falling and these guys are pretty much letting you know. Uh, the United Nations says Syria is now in a civil war with 4,000 people dead. And of course we've got to go rescue those people. 100 mile an hour winds buff at Utah. There was another. Yeah, Trojan horse central banks action merely buys time for Europe, warns analysts. And the Israeli, the Israelis are saying new exper experimental Iranian missile could carry weapons of mass destruction. And this is all the same bull crap before the first Gulf War that they were beaten. The same crap. And uh, finally, Russia unveils new radar system to counter European U.S. missile shield. And they're building it right up on the border uh, as a sign of... And that's about all they have tonight. Over to the watchers. Uh, still no contact with Phobos Grump Probe. But we are facing another re-entry? Question mark. Last week, ESA's ground station in Perth uh, added Friedhorn antenna existing one and succeeded in communicating uh, with it, the Phobos grunt on two successful days, but all attempts to renew the contact failed since then. And uh, yesterday, a station in Perth gave another try, but failed again. I went to the Phobos site, and they're saying uh, they're going to try to, to get a signal off the Canary Islands, but if it keeps going the way it is, they're saying like around January 15th, now is supposed to be um, the impact date. So how it went from December 3rd to January 15th. Heavy rains cause floods and deadly landslides at, at, in Indonesia. Uh, buried at least 36 houses and villages. Tropical Cyclone 5 over the Arabian Sea. And uh, the sun's putting on a pretty good show. Solar prominence about seven times the size of Earth uh, occurred on the eastern limb this time. And there's some really good shots of that. I'm going to take you over to Scientific American. And they have a story. Fukushima earthquake moved seafloor half a football field. And uh, March 2011, uh, the earthquake 
that decimated Japan and its Fukushima nuclear reactors with a monster tsunami altered the seafloor off the country's eastern coast much more than scientists had thought or admitted. Analysts released today the Journal of Science indicates that the ocean bed moved as much as 50 meters laterally and 16 meters vertically. And uh, the magnitude 9 quake occurred close to the nearby Japan Trench uh, that runs north to south in the Pacific Ocean. And uh, basically they're saying um, right at the trench it moved 50, uh, like 50 meters and up on the coast it moved 5. So basically the land stretched. Uh, is that what that report says underneath under the plate? Over to Ice Age now, they have several stories. Snow for desert lowlands of New Mexico, uh, 6 to 12 inches of snow above 7,000 feet and 2 to 5 below. Uh, snow in Las Vegas, question mark. Las Vegas Valley, Southern Clark County, light accumulations of snow possible today into Friday morning. And uh, they've got a story, satellite sea level data, tilted to dif distort figures, says expert. Another interesting read about the carbon tax scam. And a record snowfall in Atlanta, Georgia. It started flurrying, so they called it a trace, which replaces the none. So uh, records were sent in at Atlanta. Nice job. Over to the e, e News, the nuclear stuff. Um, they got a lot going on today. Uh, TEPCO, 68 tons of nuclear fuel melted at Fukushima reactor number one. Uh, ABC headline, Fukushima fuel rods eating through solid concrete, just 37 centimeters away from outer casing. And the IEE -E headline, Fukushima reactor number one melt was worse than we realized. Looking forward to finding out what TEPCO knew and when they knew it. MBS Radio, humans have never gone through such a crisis. Uh, TEPCO's assumption, 37 centimeters of concrete remains baseless suspects container is already broken and China syndrome discussed in multiple news reports and a lot of them are believing that it's already burned through the ground and I agree and like just I said they, they cannot stop the, the truth from radiating out of Fukushima and uh, what's really going on down there um, NYT experts, danger of a wider radiation leak cooling system may not work for fuel melted into the concrete. And TEPCO's not worried about it because it's already through the concrete. And finally tonight, uh, I got my Geiger counters going on. And uh, I don't know if you can zoom or whatever, but uh, it's looking at my background right now is running right around 40. Um, I'm going, not going to put out any actually uh, uh, Geiger counter videos yet. Uh, I am in communication with a handful of uh, channels that very much know what they're doing and I am going to probably do a couple of test videos and let them view it first uh, before I release it to the general public because I do not want to go through the CME uh, event again. This is a tool uh, we are going to try and learn. Um, give me a week, a week and a half. I just want to make sure I have it down pat before I start um, documenting scientific information so uh, just remember to have fun today I did thanks Dutch you know Dutch tempers flare he's good at heart and you can see that so enjoy what you can everybody